All right, y'all, what's up? I'm back here to uh, reassess the situation with King Von after seeing the real footage. Um, Man, after seeing the real footage and actually seeing what happened, and then I saw the DJ Academics video that he did with King Von's manager, who also was shot in the scenario. So I'm going to trust what he said about the situation. And uh, what he said kind of makes a lot of sense as far as that King Von just jumped out right into this shit. You know what I'm saying? Like he bumped into dude that he jumped out looking for. He ended up jumping out and bumping into him and it kicked off right there and they got to throwing down and one of dude's homies got a lucky shot off and I think hit the manager and hit King Von. And then King Von was still holding on to the other dude that he was fighting with, using him as a shield. Now it looked really confusing because it damn near looked like dude was trying to help him. But really King Von had his grip on him and was trying to use him for a shield. Because at this point, the police opened fire on whoever had a weapon, got gunned down after that. So during this scenario, three people were murdered. And I think possibly a fourth is a vegetable and in critical condition. Now, King Von was murdered by one of the dude's homies that he was attacking. And then King Von's two homies drew down with weapons and got murdered by the police. The police gunned him down. So King Von's manager basically said he don't move like that. He knew how to move better than that. But he was kind of in not in his right frame of mind. I'm thinking obviously that means he was on some type of drug. So he wasn't in his right frame of mind. Jumped out, started some shit. And unfortunately, although he was a brave dude, he got his whole crew killed just like that. You know what I'm saying, you guys? And it's like anytime there's gunplay, it's going to be kind of uncertain, you guys, who wins the scenario and who comes out the victim and the victor. You know, so understand these guns, you guys do not guarantee you a win. Okay, it's not a guaranteed win ever when you're going up against another gun. That's what people really don't always understand, man, as it comes down to fate at that point. Skill does have a little bit to do with it, but not that just a little bit, not a whole lot, you guys. So rest in peace to King Von. I've been in that scenario many a times. That's kind of what happened. Go back and, and watch the story where go to my playlist and I forget you guys. I'm going to pin it in the comments, but it's the story where I punched Buddy in the face on the corner and knocked his ass out and didn't even knock. He didn't lose consciousness, though, but knocked his ass like 15 feet back into the street and he opened fire on me and a group of my friends. Very similar scenario. Although this dude didn't hit anybody and I only hit him one time, but I hit him so hard. He just fucking flew, man. Um, I got some witnesses to that that are still living that were there that day. They'll maybe come in and explain what they saw at a certain point. But it was a similar scenario of how King Von got killed. It was just pride fucking with me. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't even about the money dude owed me. None of that. That was just the excuse I was using to throw my life away, you guys. Sometimes we do this shit on purpose. It's almost like we just can't stand another day in this crazy ass shit. And we just fucking fuck ourselves right out of life. Man. And sometimes we regret it. Sometimes we don't. Sometimes motherfuckers go out and they don't even give a fuck. I'm not saying he didn't give a fuck, but a lot of people, man, they end up just not even giving a fuck in their last moments of life. 
And you never know how you're going to feel until you're there. You know what I'm saying? But, uh, yeah, rest in peace to King Von and his homies that, you know, and it's fucked up because I really get kind of disappointed and frustrated with these guys because, like, man, y'all don't got nothing else better to stand for and to die for than some bullshit. And you got the bag and you're still, you're still going out in a blaze like what is the fucking point man like i understand tempers and shit like that obviously you guys can probably tell mine's pretty bad man but don't fuck yourself out of pole position you know what i'm saying like that dude was doing good man and all this clout and all that type of shit it's not even worth it y'all it's not even worth it if you get that bag like that just go sit down somewhere and chill out don't even be in the way. Don't even be in the streets. You know what I'm saying? If I had a few milli right now, you guys, you would never even see me again. Bottom line. If I could just walk away right now, and y'all wouldn't even never see me again, man. You know? Unfortunately, I still have to put this work in and, uh, and keep doing what I do. You know what I'm saying? Um, yeah, I got some money. I got some assets, but... That shit, it's always, a, it's always a hustle. It's always a grind, man. It's never enough, you know? So if you guys try and get this money as safely as possible and don't get murdered behind this shit once you get it, you know?